this is uh, Ross from Tactical Performance Center here. Uh, during the years, uh, we had a countless conversations with uh, Ron Avery, uh, the founder of TPC. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And uh, me and Ron, we train uh, uh, many, many uh, shooters from different backgrounds, uh, from civilians to uh, military to law enforcement personnel. But we found out that uh, there are five most common mistakes that uh, people do regardless what kind of background that they have. So on this video, actually, we'll break these uh, five most common mistakes and how to improve. Tactical Performance Center, the home of the active shooting science. The second element is seeing what you need to see, and this is where the focal procedure is. Never lose track of where the scene red dot exists at that same focal plane, so I don't have to stand in the target. Mistake number one is that uh, people pay more attention and they have uh, more spending towards the gear, not so much about uh, uh, skill, actual skill development. Instead of that, you know, a shooter is a shooter. It doesn't matter what kind of gear you use if you actually polish the core skills, the fundamentals. At some point, a good shooter is supposed to shoot everything that they have right now available. Yes, some gear can give some advantage, but that's not so much percentage-wise. So focus more of a proper development of your skills and better and more regular training process instead of uh, buying so much cool gear. As I like to say, more hot skills, less cool gear. When you have to shoot, shoot, don't talk. No, the second mistake is that people actually tend to focus more on the actual techniques instead of understanding the principles that uh, makes everything happen. Copy uh, just a technique of somebody just because it's good doesn't mean that necessarily you actually, that technique will fit your body structure, how your neural system is structured, your kinesthetic awareness, or how your brain functions. Now, we are individuals, so we uh, have individual qualities like like strength, skeletal structure, ability, uh, cognitive ability, and ability of that kinesthetic awareness. So dive a little bit deeper and try to find the principles that all that techniques are based on, and that will make you a creator of your own training style. Mistake number three. Uh, lack of structure on the training practice and everything is just a random and scrambled set of uh, drills or just uh, just plinking on the range. Now, the problem is that you'll spend too much money and resources without learning much. interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Instead of that, structure will manifest creation. That means in order to improve, you want to keep your training process way more structured in order to achieve a particular goal. Mistake number four, uh, even the trainees, they have a, a structured uh, training, they are focused on too many things, too many topics that they want to cover in one training session. Yeah, remember guys, success, one of the key of successes is a narrow focus. We're learning through our conscious mind, that means uh, our intellect and logic, but the conscious mind can focus on one, one thing at a time. So try to define a main mission and stay with one main topic during your training session. Now, mistake number five, 
consistency matters more than quantity. So instead of spending and shooting a thousand rounds, one per month. I'll continue. A 20 or 50 rounds, three times per week will be way more beneficial. Why? Neuroplasticity. Try to reinforce that neural pathways that you develop that a lot of people define like a muscle memory. There's no such kind of thing. Muscles doesn't have memory. What we do by repetitions, we're developing a neural pathways, right? So more consistency versus quantity. Train more often instead of train with too much resources. All right, if you like uh, these tips, please let us know and let us know if you implement them and do you notice any kind of improvement. Till the next time. If you like the video, visit the online training page on our website or check the calendar section to sign up for our in-person courses. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.